Here I am, the mustache you've been waiting for. It's your host, Marky, and welcome back to another episode of r slash Am I the A-Hole. Now, if you enjoyed today's content, I want you to smash that like button, sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy the show. Plus, chuck a prawn on the barbie, what are you doing? Thank you. Posted by user, Am I the A-Hole 3541. Titled, Am I the A-Hole for reporting my son's doctor after she shared his medical information with my mother-in-law? So my son has a medical condition. We are struggling so much trying to do everything we can to help him deal and cope with his condition. It's been difficult enough without my mother-in-law getting involved in making decisions without talking to me and my husband first. She would completely disregard our fears and concerns as parents and claim we didn't know what's best for her grandson by trying to control doctor's appointments and arguing with doctors criticizing and telling them how to do their job and bringing medication that her friend's doctor prescribed without even diagnosing my son. She would get mad if we don't comply and do what she tells us. Her latest stunt was showing up at my son's appointment and making a scene, resulting in me and my husband going no contact and changing the clinic by having my son's medical file transferred to another clinic. My mother-in-law was removed from any emergency contact we had before, and we made it clear to the new doctor to not share our son's medical information. My mother-in-law kept trying to find out what clinic or which doctor our son goes to, and she tried to guilt trip my husband and also get the family to pressure us into letting her know. No one realized the negative effect she had on my son's health and progress, and the family kept calling me awful and resentful because she's just worried for her grandson. Last week, I found out that my mother-in-law was at the clinic and was speaking to my son's pediatrician about my son's condition. My husband told me his mum called and told him that she was talking to the doctor, discussing our son's condition. He told me he didn't want to speak to his mum, but she called him to let him know that she has a right to take part in her grandson's care and that we shouldn't try to hide things from her, since she eventually was able to find out. I was livid. I was so angry, I went to talk to the doctor about the conversation she had with my mother-in-law and the fact that she disclosed medical information after being told several times that this would cause us plenty of issues because of my mother-in-law's behavior. Mother-in-law is already trying to get involved and I just couldn't take it. I reported the doctor and filed a HIPAA complaint. I was told to back off, but I couldn't take this massive lack of professionalism on the doctor's part and the fact that now I'm having to deal with my mother-in-law's attempts to control the situation. My mother-in-law spread the news about the doctor, and the whole family was stunned, saying my bitterness jeopardized the doctor's career, and that she only shared information with my son's grandmother, not some stranger. Also said that I'm not being focused on my son, and choosing to start arguments instead. Basically, made it look like it's all my fault. I'm so tired and I can't take it anymore. My husband agrees that I shouldn't have filed a complaint, like he has no problems now with his mother showing up at the clinic and causing scenes. I disagree with your husband on this part. I feel like you did the right thing for reporting them to HIPAA. That is an absolute violation and this is what HIPAA was set up for. Screw her for being such a nosy person when she is not entitled. She does not have to be a part of your son's life and health if you as the mother do not want her to. That's stupid backwards thinking and it's only hurting everyone with her continuing to push. I'm going to go with not the a-hole. Not the a-hole. HIPAA laws are a big deal and your situation is exactly the kind that they are there for. Not the a-hole. Bringing medication that her friend's doctor prescribed without even diagnosing my son. OP, I hope you also reported your mother's friend. This is never okay, but I'm just wondering if perhaps OP is not treating her child with medicine and instead going to holistic doctors. I just can't fathom why the mother-in-law would be this crazy about the medical treatments. Then there was mention of court intervention, which I know can be done if there's a lack of medical treatment that is endangering a child. It would affect my views if this were the case, but no one is mentioning it. If that's not the case, then mother-in-law is completely out of line and OP needs a restraining order or something. Either way, it's not okay for anyone to ever violate HIPAA. Yes, 
I kind of get this vibe too. Either mother-in-law is back crap crazy, which of course is totally possible, or we are not getting the whole picture. Not the a-hole, that's a huge violation. Honestly, you should go no contact and look into a restraining order. Seriously, I'm done with all this pressure and exhaustion. She knows no boundaries and clearly thinks she's in some sort of a competition here. Restraining orders are a boundary that everyone understands. Posted by user WittyBet9932. Titled, Am I the a-hole for telling my girlfriend she needs to stop making TikToks as they are so embarrassing? I'm currently deployed, and if you're unaware, TikTok has a ridiculous amount of military users. It's so fudging cringe. I swear, TikTok is like 90% cringy, edgy preteens and teens, military and creepy old men talking to the preteens. Anyways, my girlfriend makes a lot of TikToks about how much she misses me and about army girlfriend stuff. She'll post stuff like hashtag army girlfriend. She also has a rather large following. In the tens of thousands and pretty much everyone in my unit and on base knows about this, and they non-stop give me crap about it. My commanding officer will roast me in front of everyone. I checked the following list, and almost all of her followers were other servicemen, most of whom are probably on our base. All of the comments on her posts are people I know roasting me. So here's some of the TikToks she's made. She's done the classic, I'm coming home song, which plays over her hugging me when she meets me. There's millions of those on TikTok. She's posted TikToks about how she upgraded when she dated me, putting pictures of me and her ex together. How she went from dating a boy to a man. She made another one about how she went from thinking One Direction was her dream men, but then she met army men. She's made TikToks going off about how much she misses me and sends screenshots of our texts or video calls. I can't remember what else she has done. I know my girlfriend loves me and is doing this out of love, but it's gotta stop. I talked to my girlfriend about it and she got really upset that I would tell her to stop. She says I'm not appreciative of her and I shouldn't tell her what to do. I told her I love her but I'm getting so much crap for this, and it's really making my life harder for her. She hasn't talked to me in a couple of days after our conversation. I'm a bit worried I may have really pissed her off. I feel like the whole military persona, and just associating that completely with your identity, is kind of cringe, not gonna lie, and I feel like everyone is making fun of her and him, rightfully so, I feel like this should be an exercise where, hey, we get some self-awareness and we go, let's just step back a bit and stop fetishizing this one particular subject so much and be normal people, because it's not normal to take it to the degree that she is. I think OP telling her to at least just turn it down is acceptable, and please, just post about something else, it doesn't have to be military every time. I'm gonna go with not the a-hole. Jordak Keebs says, not the a-hole. She cares more about her image as an army girlfriend than she does about her relationship. He should anticipate a TikTok about how her boyfriend doesn't appreciate her. He should anticipate a TikTok about how her next boyfriend is both cuter and higher rank. She is mining your personal private life for content. That is not okay. Tell her that you are uncomfortable having private information shared on TikTok. That is not being controlling. That is having privacy. She can make videos about her own life and interests without using your texts or images of you. Not the a-hole. Not the a-hole. OP should also consider how this will affect his professional career. If she posts something that is or can be considered actionable by OP's command, he is screwed. Saying she only posts things because she loves him is naive. If she is posting screenshots of conversations, what if she posts one of him making a random comment about his command, or accidentally posting something that leaks classified info, geotag photo, or like the fitness tracker incident? Think OPSEC and the literal dozen policies the army has for social media. OP's private life needs to stay private. If she cannot control herself, he has a hard choice to make. Edit. 
After discussion with my husband, I was told to ask, How hot is she? If she's smoking, then apparently there's some form of math involved. Something about hotness versus amount of teasing. I'm not sure about the exact mathematical process, but he's assured me it is absolutely necessary for OP to consider. <laughs> I didn't think about it, but now I'd be like, yeah, myself, I'd, I'd put hotness into the equation for that one if it was me. We talking about someone that looks like Dolly Parton in the 70s? Ooh, there's a lot I could put up with for that. No a-holes here. She's doing what she enjoys and that's okay. You're annoyed and embarrassed because, let's be real, TikTok is super cringy and embarrassing, especially if it's grown women and men doing it, and that's okay to feel that way too. I'm more concerned that your girlfriend is a depender. She's making being a military girlfriend her entire personality, and that's weird and embarrassing in itself. I think you have more issues on your hand than her TikTok hobby. She is doing something she enjoys, but at the expense of her partner. That makes it not okay. I think that makes her the a-hole here. It would be one thing if she was just posting content about herself and her life, but as soon as he says he doesn't like being the focus of her content, she needs to stop. By not stooping and flipping it on him, she is trying to manipulate him and have her way while disregarding his wishes for privacy and autonomy. While I don't think it's appropriate for him to be roasted by his peers, she is making his life harder unnecessarily and against his requests. Being a partner is about making you both happy, not one getting stomped on while the other gets all they want. Posted by user, Am I the A-hole 5567166, titled, Am I the A-hole for refusing to take my dad and stepmom in? Title sounds horrible, but hear me out. I, male 32, had a bad relationship with my family. My dad showed an unbelievable amount of favoritism and treated my half-brother differently. I was always told to do things for him, sacrifice my time, future plans, my health, just so he could be happy. In other words, my half-brother has and always will be the golden child. I donated my kidney to my half-brother when my dad and stepmom were freaking out and worrying sick about him for being on dialysis for a short period of time. I was expected to step in and help because family, and I had to do it. My dad decided I was no good for my brother's health and kicked me out of the house so they could focus on my half-brother. I lived with a friend of mine for a while. I worked several jobs, but I didn't get the chance to attend college because I was busy helping my brother. My half-brother moved out of the house and got his own place while he went to college. I'd heard about my family via friends and neighbours who were still in touch with me. I rent alone now, and I'm currently dealing with a number of medical conditions, including anemia. This has been affecting my work, and I'm doing all I can to keep things balanced. Anyways... My dad reached out to me last week, wanting to meet me for a talk. I agreed, and I have no idea why. I just wanted to hear what he had to say, since he sent people to get me to set up a meeting so we could talk. He told me that he can no longer make his mortgage payments due to his inability to work, and spending money on medication for his condition, as well as some debts. He said that his son's fiance refused to take him and my stepmom in, and asked if I was willing to let them stay with me till they figure something out. I was taken aback and I didn't know what to respond. All of a sudden, I remembered why I'm in this situation, struggling both physically and emotionally, working more than I can handle, paying for everything on my own, dealing with stress and anger because of how I was treated by my own family. I told him I couldn't take them, I refused to discuss this any further when he started talking about what my mum would have wanted and how I should have helped like I'm expected to just because their golden child wasn't being supportive. So it's now my problem and I needed to fix it? I haven't spoken to him since. Now he's at it again and wanting me to help out since I already have my own place. He even said that I was trying to get back at him because he had me help my brother when he was sick in the past and claimed that any other brother would have done the same. The thing that really got me was when my dad cried. He rarely ever cried before and he's the type that acts tough and refuses to ask for help, 
but he kept talking about the hurt my half-brother caused him, and he clearly didn't expect this treatment from him after everything that he's done for him. Seems like once they kicked you out of the house after the kidney surgery, don't know if you had recovered by that point, but um, they had stashed all of their eggs in one basket. Turns out that basket had a huge gaping hole in it, and they lost their entire investment, and then that basket punched them in the face. I don't know, this situation's kind of a sucks to suck, but I would not fall for their guilt trips. They kicked you out when you were vulnerable, after you had donated a kidney, and now they come crawling back to you because they got abandoned by their golden child. Sorry, sucks to suck. Life's not fair and I'm not picking the pieces up for you. Continue as you are, OP. I'm sorry that they did that to you. They showed that they don't care about you, and they'll just do it again. Not the a-hole. Not the a-hole. He kicked you out. He is no longer able to ask you to be a bailout card. If anything, your half-brother should be the one stuck with the father's complaining. They leached enough from you. Yup. And to add insult to injury, they kicked him out after he donated his kidney. Slap away a helping hand, don't be surprised when the helping hand vanishes for good. This is honestly inconceivable to me. What kind of person, parent, whatever, does that? And he still has health problems because of donating that kidney that have seriously affected his life, WTF. Which, donation also comes with huge complications, and requires lots of recovery and support for life. OP, you owe him nothing at all. Cut contact again, and if he keeps it up, remind him he already took your kidney. He basically coerced you into it. Anyone who says otherwise, remind them they never took you in, nor did they bother to care for you now. Not the a-hole. You already gave up a kidney for a family that treats you poorly. Please don't give them any more. Not to mention, he's trying to emotionally manipulate him. Using his mother, crying, saying, Your brother won't do it, so you have to. And you always have done things for me without me giving back to you. So why would I expect to stop? Not the a-hole. Posted by user, Bread Unlucky. Titled, Am I the a-hole for essentially telling my wife she is powerless? For a bit of backstory, my wife has C-PTSD from childhood trauma, along with ASD and depression, so she currently is applying for disability. Without going into too many details, her dad was a huge POS and had apparently threatened to end her and her siblings many times growing up. She's been admitted into mental hospitals many times, We've been dating for nine years, and we both moved about 500 miles from our hometown three years ago. Now for the a-hole part. She was perusing Reddit and came across a post about a couple that had a huge financial difference between them. I said it seemed like the richer person has a higher power dynamic over their significant other in the story, and we got into a slight argument about whether or not that power dynamic exists in relationships. She then asked me if I thought that way about our relationship. I kind of said, well, technically I do pay all the bills, so in that sense, yes. If I was that kind of person, I'd have the power in this relationship. And she said something like, well, what if I just leave? And this is where I may be an a-hole. I laughed and kind of sarcastically said, oh yeah, with what money? How would you get 500 miles away? And she stuttered a bit before saying she'd ask her mum to send cash for the train tickets. And I said, okay, and what if I just hid the mailbox key? And she kind of stuttered before she said, are you trying to make me sad? Tears were flowing down her face and she left the room. I honestly wasn't trying to hurt her, but I think I may have gone too far. If she genuinely wanted to break up, I would help her and none of what I said was true. I was more speaking hypothetically, and I feel like maybe once she calms down, it won't even matter. She hasn't been speaking to me, and when I asked her if I could help her, she said, you can't help feeling completely powerless. I honestly feel bad, but I still think that it's not that huge of a thing as she's making it out to be. We've been together nine years. She should know I would never do that to her. So, am I the a-hole Reddit? 
you've been together with her nine years, you should know what sets her off and what makes her upset, and what isn't acceptable to say in a relationship. I could say a hypothetical, I'm going to stab you in your eye. And what are you going to do if I stab you in your eye? Because I'll just remove the second eye so you don't have anything to do about it. And then I say to you, haha, sorry, no, it was just a hypothetical. I would never do that. You know me, I would never stab both of your eyes out. But what would you do in this situation? Of course, that's going to affect someone negatively. You just don't say it. It's not a nice thing to say. Maybe save these hypotheticals for buddies you're hanging out with. Not with your partner, who you know can be set off by situations like this. You're the a-hole in this situation. Edit. My wife has just texted me from our bedroom that she is feeling extremely anxious and having dark thoughts about living. I apologize to her for my outburst, but she didn't respond to that other than saying she thinks she wants to go to inpatient hospital. I'm not going to lie and say that I want her to go, but she says she really feels she needs it. She's packed a backpack of clothes, and I'm going to drive her to the ER so she can get evaluated. Won't be active in this sub anymore. Might update after the fact, and I truly feel horrible, but it's not about me right now. You should feel horrible. You did a horrible thing to your partner. Play by Paper says, You're the a-hole. Jesus Christ? That's terrifying for a woman to hear if she's mentally healthy let alone a woman struggling with mental and emotional trauma or grief. I understand we make mistakes, but I definitely apologize very genuinely, and make clear you would never have intentions of doing anything like it. Yeah, this is exactly why I will never be a stay-at-home wife or mother, not to victim blame her of course, because there is a disgusting amount of men like OP in the world. She should know I would never do that to her. But you believe you could, right? That means that you do think that you have the power, just that you choose to be kind to her. I mean, you were kind to kids too, but that doesn't make them equal to the parents. You're the a-hole. You guys weren't discussing kindness, you were discussing who holds all the cards, and you made it very clear that it's you. This OP gives me a big, I would never hit you energy. The fact that their first response was to run this scenario, instead of reassuring their wife, who they know has issues about this type of thing? OP is such an a-hole. Actually telling her what he would do hypothetically to imprison her against her will is beyond disturbing. What did he hope to gain from this conversation? Alright, I think that's where I'm going to end today's video, guys. I do hope you enjoyed it. As always, I want to do a huge shout out to all my channel members and Patreon subscribers. You should be up on the screen now. I love you all, and I think every single one of you are amazing for supporting the channel in the way that you do. Again, thank you so much for supporting me. And again, if you did enjoy today's video, please do tell me what you thought of it down in the comments below. All of your hot takes, opinions, whatever you think, really, whatever's going on in your life right now, I'd love to hear down in the comments below. Before I leave, I'd also like to announce that I'm going to start doing meme content again on the second channel. I know it's been a while. So click on the marquee head on the screen without the Australian flag behind him if you want to go see some memes. And as always, guys, have a good day, night, sleep, whatever you're up to, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.